Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. So the great folks over at August Smart Home uh, sent me over a fourth generation smart Wi-Fi door lock. And this thing is awesome. So this thing has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth all built into it, uh, which makes it great uh, for using the app on your phone. So let's dive right in and check this thing out. So this thing's going to run you about 250 bucks. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, and there's probably some other stores that you can pick it up as well. It's really not that bad of a price when you look at all the other door locks. And with August being such a main uh, high-end name, I think it's definitely worth the extra money. Because this thing is compatible with SmartThings, Alexa, of course, uh, Home Assistant, Google Home. It works out great. So let's do a quick run-through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course, uh, for starters, we're going to uh, unbox the device. Uh, once we do that, we'll go through and get this uh, smart lock installed in my door. Once we have it installed, then we're going to uh, configure it with the August uh, Smart Home app. Once that's done, we'll get it added into Home Assistant. And then lastly, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like as far as uh, how well it communicates with uh, the phone app and Home Assistant as well. So let's get started. All right, so uh, here is the box. Uh, this thing's actually fairly uh, heavy. I was kind of surprised at the weight of it, but I guess uh, with everything that it has and how strong it has to be to be able to open and close the door lock, uh, I guess that does kind of make sense. So you got your instructions here and all of the various uh, things that you'll need to get this thing installed. The great thing about it is you won't have to uh, completely remove your existing uh, door lock. So basically you're just going to replace the uh, thumb turn on the uh, deadbolt of your door lock with this unit here and that's it. Everything else gets to stay the same. So that's kind of nice. It also comes with a Bluetooth door sensor. Uh, it looks like it comes with some tape to uh, basically hold everything to the door so nothing falls out while you're replacing the uh, thumb turn. Of course you have your mounting brackets as well and that's uh, pretty much everything. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so uh, here is the uh, deadbolt on my front door. And like I said before, all we have to do is basically replace the thumb turn here at the top with uh, this new August Smart Lock. So as you can see here, I've gotten the uh, thumb turn removed. And at this point, we're going to put the uh, mounting bracket for the August Smart Lock uh, in its place. You will use the existing screws that you removed whenever you took off the thumb turn to mount the uh, August mounting bracket. Now it came with four different little plastic pieces. Uh, these will go around the existing rod that comes out of the uh, other side of the door lock. So you'll just have to pick which one fits uh, your door. Mine is green, so that's the one we're going to go with here. So as you can see here, we have the mounting bracket mounted. And, of course, our little green uh, plastic um, adapter that we'll use for the uh, door lock. At this point, we need to get the August Smart Home app installed on our uh, phone. You'll need to register uh, the lock with the app before you can go any further. Otherwise, you'll have it mounted and then you'd have to take it back off in order to uh, register it and get the uh, QR code. So we'll go through here, we're going to download the uh, app, and of course if you don't already have an August Smart Lock, then of course you'll need to create an account on the app for the first time. I'll kind of fast forward through this because most of that is self-explanatory. At this point we're ready to follow the directions on the Smart App to get the uh, new lock added into the app. Now it asks you to scan in your QR code. The QR code is found uh, 
inside. You basically have to take the screws off the back of it to get to it. It's right where uh, the battery is. I had problems getting the QR code uh, to scan properly. It just wouldn't pick up. So basically what I did was uh, click down at the bottom where it says couldn't scan QR code and then you can put in the serial number instead. That made it much easier. At that point, that's it. It's added into the app now and we can go ahead and mount it on the door. So as you can see here, I have it mounted. It's great with a little bracket. All you have is the uh, wings on each side of the back of the door lock. You'll basically set it in place on the door and then close those wings, which will then mount it to the mounting bracket. We're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so we've got it mounted and we've got it registered in the app itself. Now we need to do some configuration and finalization as far as getting that lock set up in the app. So you're basically going to follow the directions in the app to set up the lock. It will go through and do a search for the lock. Once it finds it, then of course it'll ask you to name it and also name your house as well. I guess you can basically have multiple houses defined on your app uh, so they give you the ability to uh, break everything out. So I'll just call the house Burns, gave the door lock name as front door. That's where it is, so I thought that made it the easiest. It actually came up asking to do a firmware update. Um, I'll kind of fast forward through that because you don't want to wait for it, but uh, it went through and as long as your phone was close to the lock itself, uh, it was able to update pretty quickly. At the end, it basically just asked me to calibrate the lock uh, by opening and closing it a couple of times uh, as it did so in the app. And then we're ready to go. If you remember, it also came with a uh, Bluetooth door sense door sensor. Now my front door already has a uh, smart door sensor uh, that I have integrated uh, via Z-Wave and SmartThings. So I don't necessarily need one here. So I'm going to pass on that for right now. But I probably will come back and do it later. That way I can use that door window sensor somewhere else. As part of the last part, we need to get it connected to Wi-Fi. So currently it's just set up via Bluetooth and that's how my phone has been communicating with it. But we want to be able to have it set up for Wi-Fi. That way we can do it remotely even if we're not right next to the door. So you'll follow the directions here. You're going to add in your password for your uh, home SSID, and then it should go out and get connected based on what your phone is connected to. And that's it. And now, of course, you can push the button on the uh, phone itself, and it will lock and unlock the door. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So adding it into Home Assistant is super easy. Uh, with the Home Assistant integration, uh, you can do everything from the web interface. You don't have to edit any YAML files or anything, which makes it really nice. So in the integration section in Home Assistant, we'll hit the plus down at the bottom. And then we're going to do a search for uh, August. Once you find it, then of course you choose how you want to log in. If you want to use your phone number or if you want to use your email address, depending on which one you use, that will be where it sends a PIN code for you to type in in Home Assistant. I chose my email address, which made it simple. And then, of course, it emailed me a PIN code that I was then able to add to complete the uh, setup. At that point, it's done. It has added a uh, lock entry into Home Assistant. And if I click on the integration here for August, uh, you can see that it currently shows to be locked. Uh, I have the ability to unlock it if I want. It also shows me the battery status. And if I would have added that door sense uh, Bluetooth sensor that I talked about earlier, uh, it would also show the status of whether or not the door was open or closed here as well. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the last step. We'll see this thing in action. So on the left side here, I have my uh, August smart home app on my phone. And on the right side, I have a the lock pulled up in Home Assistant where we integrated it previously. And basically, uh, I was worried that there might be a little bit of delay uh, with Home Assistant and August. Since there is obviously a uh, cloud source there that it has to communicate with, but it was actually pretty responsive. I was able to unlock it in Home Assistant and it responded uh, within a second or so. It was pretty quick. That's pretty much it, guys. As you can see, I can unlock, lock both from within Home Assistant or the app. 
I can even set it up in Alexa with a Alexa skill and be able to have Alexa unlock and lock the door as well. For 250 bucks, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all the features that are built into this lock itself, it makes it a no-brainer. And the fact that you're able to keep the lock that you have already and only change out the thumb turn, perfect. So if you haven't installed any smart door locks yet, definitely go and check out August's website and see what they have to offer. So let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. Uh, so of course for starters, we unbox the device. Once we did that, we uh, basically installed the lock on the front door. Once we had it installed, then of course we had to get it configured in the August Smart Home app on our phone. Once it was configured and working, then we were able to get it added into Home Assistant. And then of course lastly, I basically showed you what that looked like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. Like I said, uh, definitely check out August's website. The latest version of this lock is amazing. And of course, they also offer uh, keypads for it as well as smart doorbells, so definitely want to check out all that they have to offer. As always, I want to thank everybody that has donated to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, uh, hit my Teespring merchandise page for all your Burns Home Automation merchandise. As always, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. If there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something together for you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.